Hey there. Today we have another Valentine's Day wine to review for Wine on the Dime. Garnacha del Fuego. Is it any good? Watch and find out. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. So today I'm back for another Valentine's Day video review. Today I'll be reviewing the Garnacha de Fuego. It's uh, from Spain, Old Vine 2013, and it's 14.5% alcohol by volume, and it's $7.50 at Total Wines and more. So this is what it looks like. Holding it up, see dark coloration. It has a very concentrated red dot in the middle, and as it goes towards the edges, it actually becomes pretty light. Um, from a nose standpoint, I'm getting oak, um, getting, smells like black cherry. Nope. Yeah, black cherry. Maybe a little bit of plum. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of, uh, of the alcohol smell too now that I'm breathing in really deep. It's very fruit forward in the nose. There's a lot of fruit. Um, once I got past that initial hit of oak, there wasn't really much of it in there. Yeah, but if you continue to, uh, uh, to take a really deep breath in on this wine, you're going to notice that um, you get a lot of alcohol in it. Um, it's 14.5%. It's a full body wine, but it's this is one of those where now I'm actually concerned it's going to be too powerful. Okay, now swirling. Now time to taste. Interesting. So, there's this weird dichotomy. Up front, it has a very fruity hit. So you get that plum really hard, followed by a little bit of the cherry. I feel like, I, it sounds weird, I feel like I can really taste the grapes in this one too. Um, but then all of a sudden it just switches almost instantly. And now like, oh, I have a whole palette full of oak uh, as it's going into the finish. Uh, a lot of the uh, acid kind of shows up at the end there. Um, and it's not it's not a lot of acid to probably it's about a medium acid wine probably but it's um it's just interesting because all of a sudden it's like hey lots of fruit boom oak and acid and that's it like it just hits and then it's almost gone like it's it's a garnacha with almost a clean finish you do get a lot of alcohol especially as you breathe in more of it afterwards. Um, hmm. So let me think of the factors on this one. One, it's Valentine's Day, you need the bottle to be atmospheric. Fire, heat, kind of cool. It can be either romantic or a little saucy. So I would say, that's not a bad, bad thing right there. Oak, I do like the oak. It has it has a good amount of oak. It's not overpowering. Uh, the fruit accents on it are pretty nice. The part where it flips back and forth super fast and it has no finish, that's kind of a downside for me. Um, really torn on this one. I want I want to say it's a try again. But then I also want to say it is an eh. Okay. This is really weird. I'm gonna give it a try it again. So the reason why. One, has nothing to do with the bottle. I was being silly with that. Um the reason why I want to give it a try again is there may be a way where if you're pairing it with the right thing, this pulls out really well. And maybe it stops the swapping of the flavors that you get mid-palate and mid-taste. 
um, two. It's seven dollars and fifty cents. It's not bad. I mean, like 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 seven dollars and fifty cents, and having our ganache that actually has a little bit of a uh, uh, character to it is is pretty nice. Um, three. Um, if you are looking for some sort of a uh, steamy themed wine, uh, there aren't very many out there for. There aren't. Um, Garnacha uh, pairs a lot uh, with uh, the Spanish dishes, uh, which is nice because that's a pretty versatile uh, flavor palette right there. So um, it probably wouldn't hurt to have it. I don't have any Spanish dishes prepared to try it with, um, but I do like Spanish food. So I'll probably uh, do something where uh, I will buy a bottle of this again or just keep this existing bottle and then try it with some Spanish food in the future and see if it makes a difference. But I don't think it's... I don't think it's passive enough to say I wouldn't buy a bottle of this again, um, but it's not it's not knocking my socks off. It's 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 really straddling that line of like I'll drink if it is if it's available and getting an ask score and being a try again. I want to lean more towards the try again just because I would be willing to try to pair this with a meal or a situation to see if it works out. Um, but in the end. Uh, this is one I could probably go either way on. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you like today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I will be seeing you again soon on another episode of Wine on the Dime. Have a good one.